You are an avalanche, washing my feet with your avalanche hair, and all I can do is press my lips to your back and whisper the new name I made up for foxes. I counted off the time out loud, and a waterfall started over us from the river that had been living in the kitchen cabinet with all our bowls and mugs, and your face was the sun, and my feet got cleaner and cleaner. You looked up at me and opened your mouth, and thirty brown dogs fell out of it, tails aloft looking for their mothers. I told them she was you. You this avalanche with your dark avalanche hair, and you took them in and gave them coffee and pastries from the secret staff, stash you kept beneath the kitchen island, which was an actual island, and whose native once thought of us as gods, but now thought of us more gingerly, like parents who have gotten too old and repeat themselves too often to be feared. The river took the dogs and their coffee into town and to church where they did such terrible things, things I won't write here, thinking that the cl clergy would be scandalized, but no one was scandalized because we all live in this world together. And so we came and picked them up in your avalanche car, and we didn't say a word, but the dogs were whining, and the river leaked through the seat and we all traded skins, and I was a dog, and you were a god, and I wanted to be you, and you wanted to be the sky that night, and the sky that night wanted to go home and get some rest because the stars had gotten too heavy to hold. And so I looked in my pocket and I pulled out this rain so thick that we could all get lost in it together, and then you weren't anything, and I wasn't anything, and the sky wasn't anything, and the dogs weren't anything, and the lawn wasn't anything but wet and good and glad to be these new rare beasts.